Hi, I'm Karen Mulvaney and this behind me is number 100 Sutton Park, Sutton Dublin 13. This is a phenomenal four bed semi-detached property, just shy of 139 square, square meters with a garage and a side entrance to the side. So if you look at the house, this here behind the garage is a bedroom. You could totally extend over that garage, double front the house, make it into a five bed, or you could double front the house and make an additional reception room as well. The opportunities are endless, but it still has a huge amount of accommodation. As you can see here, we have a meticulously kept garden. The current owners are definitely gardeners because it's just stunning front and back. We're east facing to the back. Um, just to let you know where we are, Sutton Park, if we head that direction, we are a stone's throw from the seafront. Magnificent. A very, very short uh, walk or drive to Sutton Cross and all the amenities that you have there as well. So we're going to head into the house here. Uh, very, very well cared for house. Given that it's an F energy rating, somebody will want to put their own stamp on it and also maybe add additional insulation as well. So we're coming into a storm porch here and walking into an exceptionally wide hallway. The ceiling height in these houses are absolutely fantastic. Really, really high ceilings and a really wide hall, which is amazing. So off the hallway here, we have under stairs storage. And we have two doors on the opposite side leading us into two separate reception rooms that have been opened up. So you're walking in and as you can see, it's been meticulously maintained. We have this huge reception room here. We have a really nice fireplace with a gas fire inset. The double doors that would have originally separated these two rooms have been taken out over the years. Oh, actually, sorry, I'm mistaken. When the current owners bought this house, they requested this to be opened. So this has been original since 1965 when the house was built. So you're coming through the dining room here, another very, very large reception room. That fireplace has been blocked up over the years, but can obviously be opened up again. And then through double doors, we're coming out into a conservatory. As you can see, it is flooded with light. We do have an stunning day here now this is the east facing garden which we'll show you at the end um, and the conservatory just takes in all of that beautiful garden so we have wooden flooring there but carpet throughout the rest of the house and we're coming back into the hallway where we have a linoleum floor and a very very large space again the ceiling height is phenomenal Behind the kitchen door there, we have a hot press. We have loads of wall and floor units here and your dining area as well. So this is an incredibly spacious home. We have the glass a window overlooking the garden there and a door leading us out the back here as well. Directly outside the back, and we will show you the garden at the end, but directly outside the back, you have two sheds, one of which is an outside WC and the other one houses the utilities for washing machine and dryer. So plumbing is out there. Um, the house is oil fired central heating, but there is gas as well. There's a gas hob behind you there. So we're going to come back out into the hallway and head upstairs where we're gonna show you the four very large bedrooms and bathroom. So we have come up the carpeted stairs here onto a really spacious landing. Off this landing, we have four bedrooms and the main bathroom. So we're going to come in here to the first bedroom that we were talking about as well. So this wall that we discussed at the front is over behind, but over the garage. You could totally put a window here as well and have a dual aspect bedroom, or you could extend over the garage. But what we have here is a really spacious double, well, sorry, single bedroom, very spacious single bedroom, but 100% could be a double without the large amount of wardrobes you can overlook the back garden here from this bedroom as well which is just so pretty so we're coming back out onto the landing and we're coming into a really large bathroom so that bathroom has a bath a walk-in shower wc and a wash hand basin it's completely tiled wall and floor tiles and would have originally probably been two separate rooms not sure about that actually I'd have to check that but I, I, I'm pretty sure it would have been 
What I find really unusual in this house is the radiator in the landing. You don't often find that in houses and especially in houses of this age. And it's actually genius because your landing is usually quite cold. Uh, also above us on the landing, again, really high ceilings on this level. We have the um, access to the attic. Now we have two huge double bedrooms in on this side of the house. This one is overlooking the conservatory and rear garden, but look at the size of it. It's humongous. Uh, we have a really large desk here, a big double bed and fitted wardrobes and loads and loads of bookshelf space there as well. And that's not even our master. So our master is through here to the front and again, a really large double bedroom. Large amount of fitted wardrobes, again, bookshelves overlooking the front of Sutton Park but a really phenomenally large room. So we've two very, very big doubles. And that first bedroom that we showed you is 100% a double bedroom or a very large spacious single. So this is the smallest of the four bedrooms overlooking the front. But as you can see, it's still a very spacious single bedroom. You could totally fit a, a, a double bed in here if you just maybe moved those wardrobes and you had a double bed here. So that concludes our upstairs accommodation from 100 Sutton Park. Now we're going to head out into the garden. So we're in the back garden here of 100 Sutton Park. As you can see, it's meticulously maintained and we are absolutely basking in sunshine. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, so you get all of this east facing sun in at the back of the house at this hour of the morning and for a lot of the day as well. Stunning, stunning garden, front and rear. You still have tons of potential. You can come across here from the back of the house from where the edge of the conservatory is and still retain all of this garden. You can also go out the side. Um, you can convert the garage while still having a side entrance to the side. So huge potential, an amazing location. Sutton Park is a highly sought after development dating back to 1965. So just to summarize, we are on market for 695. It is a four bed, semi-detached with garage and side entrance, beautiful gardens front and rear, off street parking. For more information, go to kmproperty.ie.